Of course, we don't have 45 minutes, so let's speed things up a bit. All right, is it done? It's done. You know, you were totally in the zone, is how I would say that. You never hesitated from one moment to the next. How do you get that confident? Uh, just years of carving. I've been at 15 years. I do about 250 pieces to 300 pieces a year, so I, I kind of have to stay focused. I can't really be distracted. I, I kind of have, you know, I... I have fingers to watch out for, so I really have to be, like you say, in the zone. I, I kept expecting you to go to some kind of fine tool, but you never left the chainsaws. Are those special chainsaws? Um, the one there with the dime tip that you saw me at the end was was kind of a special. Uh, I can't buy that down at the local Home Depot then. No, you can't get that one there, yeah. Now, have you studied the horse's conformation to be able to do something like that? Well, I have a bunch of horses at home, and uh, it's just kind of, you know, you see them every day in and out, and you just kind of get an idea for what they look like and, and what their what their expressions are when they're hungry or they're, you know, uh, not in the mood to ride or anything like that. Now, what about all of these other animals here? Every one of them seems so true to life. How, did you study them, too? Uh, Obviously, you don't live with a grizzly bear. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, I mean, a lot of studying, a lot of pictures, and a lot. I love nature and stuff, and uh, I just uh, really take kind of a photographic memory uh, picture with, with my mind and just say, well, that's what a, a grizzly bear looks like or a horse, and uh, I just kind of go from there, yeah. All right, my guest has been Ben Risney. Ben, Tell people how they can learn more about you. They can call call the number there where, where you book year-round, uh, state fairs, logging shows, festivals like this. Well, it's one of the dirtiest jobs I've ever seen, but but you do a great job at it. Thanks for being on our show. Rick, I appreciate it. Thank you. you bet. Yeah. Hey, Rick! I've got a really good email here. It says, hey, Rick, someone told me grass is good for a horse's teeth. Well, that's absolutely right. Remember, horses are grazers. They're meant to eat grass and plenty of it. Grass is good for the digestive system. It's good for the mind. It keeps them occupied. And it's also good for a horse's teeth. If you look at grass under a microscope, you will see that it has structure to it. It's composed of silicates. And when a horse chews on grass, it releases those silicates. It's almost like he's chewing on fine sand. And that abrasion is actually good for the teeth. Now, horses' teeth are continually growing. Technically, it's called erupting uh, at the rate of about an eighth of an inch a year throughout their lives. In nature, horses will eat grass. They'll eat woody plants. They'll eat the bark off of trees. They'll even chew on rocks, although they usually don't swallow them. And all of that helps keep their teeth from getting too long. Now, domestication, we'd have a procedure called floating, which does pretty much the same thing. It files down their teeth so they don't get too long. But a diet with plenty of grass in it, whether it's pasture or hay, does help. If you've got a question you'd like me to tackle, feel free to drop me an email at heyrick at thehorseshow.com.
In the coming months, Rick will appear at these events, and he'd like to meet you. Up-to-the-minute details are available at thehorseshow.com. Thehorseshow.com is also a great way to listen to Rick's radio shows or buy signed copies of his books. There's something new for horse lovers every week at thehorseshow.com. Equine emergencies can strike any time. And while horse owners should be prepared for emergencies, it's always best to prevent them. That's why every horse should receive a wellness exam from a veterinarian every spring and fall. Wellness exams can help detect and prevent problems before they become emergencies. Call your veterinarian today and enjoy a healthier horse tomorrow. A message from the American Association of Equine Practitioners and Fort Dodge Animal Health. Want to get in the game? If you're one of the thousands who have seen the exciting game of horse soccer played on RFD TV, here's some great news. Horse soccer is coming your way. Created by trainer Renee Miller, horse soccer is fast becoming a hit all over the country with teams in every state, played by all breeds and all levels of riders. More information about this fun and exciting family sport can be found at www.horsesoccer.com. Next week, our travels across America take us to Arizona for a cutting lesson with world champion Al Dunning. Then it's on to Indiana for a look at new techniques in equine dentistry and an old-fashioned farriers competition. So have fun, ride safely, and I'll see you next time. For The Horse Show, I'm Rick Lamb. The Horse Show with Rick Lamb is presented by Daily 72 and the Farnham Companies.